Just joking. By Mikaya Mantin, illustrated by David Prebena. Halloween was still weeks away, but Zoe already knew what she was going to be. She even had her costume, which she kept in the bottom drawer of her dresser, so she could look at it whenever she wanted. Zoe's costume had a fluffy mane and a long tail with a tuft of fur at the end of it. She thought it was the best costume she'd ever seen. Sometimes Zoe put on her costume and pressed this, pressed this, pressed this. It. Uh, I mean, sometimes Zoe put on her costume and pressed, practices, roaring, roar. She roared. She practiced it, creeping and strutting and pouncing. She began to wish Halloween wasn't just one day a year. I am such a terrific lion, she, she said. I want to be one every day. The more Zoe thought about it, the more she thought, Why do I have to wait for Halloween? Why can't I be a lion whenever I want? So Zoe decided to wear her, I mean Zoe, so Zoe decided to wear her lion costume to the park. On the way, she met Big Bird. Hello Zoe, he said. I'm not Zoe, Zoe answered. Guess what I am. Are you a, are you a rhinoceros, asked Big Bird. Don't joke at me, silly, said Zoe. I am a lion. I'm a lion. Well, said Big Bird, if you see Zoe, please tell her s her I sub have some. I mean, please tell her I have something to ask her. Roar! Roar, Zoe. At the park, Ammo asked Zoe if she would like to play in the sandbox. Lions don't play in the sandboxes, Zoe growled it. Sorry, Miss Lion, Emma said. Emma did not know that. She crept up behind some bushes. She pretended she was in the jungle. Lions like jungles. Zoe peeked it through the green leaves. She could see Grover coming toward her. As she came near Zoe, as she as he as he came near, Zoe jumped out. Roar! Oh my goodness," said Grover. "You startled me. That's what lions are supposed to do," said Zoe. "I guess you are right," answered Grover. "But I never expected to see a lion on Sesame Street." Roar! Roared Zoe. <laughs> the next day. I mean, the next day, Zoe wore her lion costume to the park again. From her hiding place in the bushes, she watched her friends play. She could see Harry Master swinging and Ernie and Bert on a, the seesaw. No one asked her to join in. They knew that lions still play on swings or seesaws. When it when it's was time for lunch, everyone stopped it and stopped it playing and walked it out of the park together. I wonder where they're going," said Zoe. Zoe decided to follow them as silently as a lion. Zoe followed her friends to Big Bird's nest and watched it as he greeted them. Then she crept a closer to see what was going on. They were having a party without her. All of a sudden, Zoe didn't feel like being a lion anymore. Zoe, um, she called to Big Bird. Hello, Zoe, she said. Oops, sorry, I forgot you, were, you aren't Zoe, you're a lion. I was just joking you, Big Bird, said Zoe. 
I'm really Zoe. Look, I'm Zoe in a co lion costume. I'm glad to hear that, Zoe, because I really wanted you to come to my party, Big Bird said. I tried to invite you yesterday. I'm sorry I jumped at you, said Zoe. That's okay, Big Bird told her. You're here now. Come on in. The first thing Zoe did was to find Elmo. I'm sorry I growled it at you yesterday, she said. I was just joking about being a lion. Let's play in the sandbox tomorrow. Okie dokie, said Elmo. Then Zoe saw Grover. Look out, everybody, said Grover. There is a, there is a lion at this party. Don't worry, said Zoe. I was just joking you. Right now, I am just Zoe. That is good news, said Grover. I miss it. I, I miss having just Zoe around. Zoe smiled. Sometimes I might look like Zoe the lion and roared like Zoe the lion. But underneath, I always, I will always be just Zoe. No joking. The end.